You're clear of pit road. Car outside. Hold your line. Hey everybody, I am here at Martinsville in the Cup Series this time. Uh, this is career mode, that's why you see all these other cars on the track. I'm going to try to run a decent lap, then talk about the setup here. I'm going to give these uh, slower cars a chance to get ahead of me here a little bit before I start going, because I usually run them down pretty quick. Um, I have ran a 19-1-11 with this, as you can see in both uh, upper corners of the screen. Uh, I feel like I didn't hit my marks real good when I ran those, uh, but I haven't been able to beat it, so I feel like there's more speed in the setup. I just haven't quite hit everything uh, perfect at both ends of the track. Um, I looked at the leaderboard. Tenth place all time is an 18.858, so I am about a little over two tenths or so, between two and three tenths off the leaderboard, but I think this is a pretty good setup. Um, it's not real hard on tires. It's pretty easy to drive. It doesn't get loose on you as the tires wear and you're trying to drop the hammer on the throttle. So I feel like it is a pretty solid setup. And I think I already ran. I was hoping to get in the 19.2s on video and I think I already got there. There's a 19.05. Told you I had more speed in this thing than what I had got out of it. Um, but yeah, that's my best lap ever. I will slow down here in just a second and talk about the uh, the line I'm using and go show the setup. I think I overbraked that corner. This is probably not going to be a better lap than that, but we'll see. Especially not when I am getting loose off the corner there. No, that wasn't. All right. I got a 1905. That's my best ever. I'll take that. Let's slow down and talk about the line I am running. Uh, Martinsville is a paper clip. It's pretty symmetrical. I pretty much do the same thing at both ends of the track. Um, I am looking at that red Toyota sign, and I am braking probably about here, a couple car lengths before I get to that. What I am trying to do is brake. I, I start to turn the wheel right as I am getting onto the brake. I brake pretty hard when I hit the brakes. And then as I get into the corner, I am easing off the brakes. And I am probably on the brakes a little bit until I'm almost mid-corner. And again, I start off up there and kind of dive my way down. I don't mind getting a little bit high if I am coming through the corner here as long as I can get it back down and be low on exit. I think being low on exit uh, really helps the, the lap times at, at a lot of tracks, Martinsville included. Um, I'm pretty aggressive getting back on the throttle and I'm pretty usually still turning the car pretty hard with the wheel trying to come off the corner. Uh, then when you come down and head into turn one, it's the same concept, but the mark is on the inside of the wall there, and it's this red Toyota sign, and again, I'm breaking a couple of car lengths before that. I used to try to take a wider angle in and, and not really follow the suggested line, and I am learning that I'm doing a little bit better by more or less following the suggested line. I might be to where I have uh, the left tires on it and the right ones out of it, but I'm basically following the suggested line. And it's the same concept in turn one. I hit the, the brakes hard. When I hit the brakes, I'm turning the wheel to get the car angled uh, just as I am hitting the brakes, and then I am easing off the brakes the deeper I get into the turn. So. Uh, with all that being said, let's go and take a look at the setup. So, uh, with this setup, um, I'm trying to get the thing to turn without being loose, especially when you're trying to get back on the throttle, and I think this works pretty well. I really had to go up a lot on that right rebound to help it turn on exit. Um, what else? The weight settings, there's not a lot to talk about there. That's pretty standard. Somewhere in the 51 to 52 range is where I usually run the wedge and the weight. Oh, let's get back here. Um, the rear springs are 450 and 550. That's about 50 pounds lighter on both rear springs than I run at like your, your typical oval. But that's because this is a flatter track. The flatter the track, the softer you go on the rear springs. A lot of times you'll wind up with the same differential between left and right. But you're going to go softer springs to help the car turn. 
um, went really aggressive on the camber and the camber is because it's a flat track again you go more aggressive on the camber on the flatter tracks than you do on the high banked ones and uh, by aggressive I mean bigger numbers there so the left side is uh, a bigger positive number the right side is a bigger negative number and what that camber is is how far the the tires basically if you're setting in the driver's seat how much they are tilted to the left by tilting them to the left that helps the car turn into the corner and also when you are making a left hand turn the weight's going to shift to the right so the more you have them tilted to the left when that weight shifts over that puts the 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 tire surface more evenly on the pavement because you know it's gonna it's gonna want to shift shift to the right so by starting it off tilted to the left it makes it more of the tire is touching the the pavement when you're going around the corner i don't know if i've explained that very well but at any rate that's an aggressive camber setting but that's typical um what else i went with a pretty low wheel lock to give the wheel a little more responsive steering because i think you need that to to try to get around this this tight oval and last i went with a rear end ratio of 5.67 now you will hit the rev limiter at the end of the straightaway but um I, that doesn't damage the engine because you're not on the rev limiter for not even a second and I, this gear ratio really helps you get drive off the corner i tried to go in with a taller gear uh, excuse me i'm yawning but the taller gear, I wasn't getting the drive off the corner I needed, and it was slowing the lap times down. There's probably a three-gear setup in there somewhere that is perfect, but I couldn't quite fool with it. I fooled with a three-gear setup for a little bit and couldn't get it right and just kind of came back to saying, you know what, I'll, I'll hit the rev limiter. Um, that is about all I got to say. Hope this works for you. Hope it gives you some fast laps. Uh, if you play career mode, Martinsville is the race right before the championship. So if you need to, to race your way into the championship, hope this one will put you in victory lane. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support. As always, greatly appreciated. I think I'm up to 850 subscribers now. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, hope this works well for you guys do me a huge favor like the video and subscribe to the channel i really work hard to put out great content and i think uh, i got some pretty good setups out there so please like the video and um, subscribe to the channel and with that i will sign off and tell you guys have a great